You know, after a hard day of work and hanging out here with wonderful people, the vibe is so cool and down to earth. I mean, it's just everything. Real quickly, when I was young, I saw a movie called Pal Joey with Frank Sinatra. Uh -huh. And in the movie, he's in a club playing music that he loves. There's a lot of beautiful women. Uh -huh. The guys are playing great. And and at that time, I remember thinking, wow, that's what I want in my life. That, that would be beautiful. And so Frank Sinatra inspired you to be who you are today? Oh, I mean, I... I uh, I, uh, I couldn't say how much that that man has inspired. I think a lot of musicians. I mean, Miles Davis is, is quoted by saying he used to listen to Frank and the way he interprets lyrics and his time and all that. But also his way of living, you know, and enjoying life and, and enjoying what's great about life. Music and beauty. I mean, you know, what else is there really? You know, Life is beauty. It's beautiful. You know, we're lucky. Every day is really cool. So it's like we lose track of that living in New York. It's hard, you know all the stuff you get caught up in, but we're lucky that it's it's here and we have to we have to appreciate it. So I, I appreciate it as much as possible. This is fun the and you and he loves uh uh um his favorite musician is I would have to say George Benson. George Benson. Yeah. George Benson, he's the man. Is Pretty much, in my in my opinion, for what I like to hear, and I've gotten to know him. And he's a beautiful guy, really cool, very supportive. He's gotten me a lot of gigs. You know, he's always helping younger guitar players. Um, you know, if, if he can, he'll put a word in for you. So he's really he spreads out. He spreads it around. Again. He's beautiful. Guy. Well, this is fun. Says with music, we will be right back with my friend Juan Afif, and we'll find out exactly uh, where. What's expecting for tonight? As you know, Jojo's in town. He's already here, and uh, we'll find out what beside what's beside beauty. What else that's really triggers imagination? We'll be right back. I'm Princess with Music BS. My name is Randy Napoleon, and you're watching the Monday Night Love Special from the Zinc Bar. Yeah, it started out, uh, you know, I was new to town about four years ago. Uh, you know, I was asking people where all the high spots was. People always say, Monday nights, come to the zinc bar, come to the zinc bar. So I start coming down, you know, bringing my horn. My man Ron was, you know, gracious enough to let me sit in. I'm kind of regular now, so, you know, I ain't got to be like, you know, can I? You know, I just, just kind of stand. I just, I just kind of stand on my horn. I just stand at him, you know. And he was like, okay, boy. Welcome with Music BS. I'm Frances, and we are right here with uh, my friend Juan Afif on uh, Monday night, which is one of the special nights here. Like I said, I do him every Monday. So you should definitely come down and do him too, because he is <laughs> he's going to join your list on Monday night. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> what do you do on Monday during the daytime? Uh, I, I play the guitar some. Um, my days are pretty free. How 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 often do you? What would you say? Because most people just say because you you performing regularly. Is that, yeah? Does that think does how when you at home? How long do you put into you, your practicing? It depends. If I'm real busy, I don't have that much time to really do that much. But a couple of hours at least of playing, and then at night, I mean, at nights I'm off. Then I do more maybe three or four hours you know but sometimes it's good too to not do it to clear your mind a little listen it's good to go listen to people that's what i like to do hear other musicians try to get inspired you see um some of really great musicians come over here you see some amateur that's come around and you see people that has to drive that really wants to do something what would you like to say to those who actually wants to come here and jam with you that you're starting out Oh, it's beautiful. Come, come, uh, come in. Check out the scene. Um, you know, if there's already five trumpet players, maybe not. If you're a trumpet player, don't play that night. But on a night when it's just a guy hanging, you know, it's cool. You know, it's open. But you know, it's music is for everybody. You know, but sometimes though, some musicians don't realize that for the audience, too many guys, and then it gets a little bit. And for the rhythm section, they get a little tired of it, you know. So it's good to, to keep it loose and open, you know. And some nights you should listen. Some nights you should play, you know. So a lot of nights I listen, you know. And they ask me to play, and I don't. I just listen. You know, every night, um, 
you can learn just by hearing someone do something. So, I'd, I'd say just come and hang out, check out the vibe, see what you, see what you think. You know? Is there a, a special experience that happens here that stays with you and probably will always stay with you? There's been so many that have happened here, musically and otherwise. <laughs> that uh, it's it's truly, I mean, it's funny because I've done all the big festivals. I've done a lot of nice things. I'm lucky. I'm 41 years old. I've been around a little bit. And um, but it's in a little club at three in the morning when you're reaching and the guys are playing and everyone's stretching. That's when the music for me. It's that's the kind of music I like to play. Hi, this is EJ Strickland, and you're watching Music BS. I, I think you're doing a good thing by checking out the Zinc Bar, you know, I and I love it too. And now that I'm getting a chance to play outside of the Zinc Bar, I'm taking the opportunities and the stuff that I've learned from playing in the Zinc Bar. Now I've got this new record coming out. When is the record April 3rd, 2007, <laughs> Mac Avenue. Be there. But the point is, we all the stuff that was. All the stuff that was on that record um, was stuff that we worked out here at the Zinc Bar. And we continue to work out the live performances. So I consider it... Basically, the Zinc Bar made you who you are. Today. I consider it a very important testing ground. Hi, welcome back to Music BS. And we are here right here at the hottest Monday night, the Zinc Bar with uh, Ron Afif. And we have uh, Ron Afif drummer, which is E.T. Strickland, who's beating up the drums tonight. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How did you hook up with uh, Mr. Ron Afif? I hooked up with Ron um, just hanging around. Actually, I used to come into the Zinc Bar and just hang out. Um, this is a, you know, a hang, a right. very popular hang for a lot of jazz musicians. Mm -hmm. It's like the spot. It's like all of, all of the greatest musicians in New York City come here and uh, sit in the lounge or sit at the bar and, and check out uh, the musicians. Some of the top musicians are playing out at all times. But uh, Ron heard me play. I think I sat in one night, and then uh, he called me, and that's how it happened. Yeah. What has been your best experience musically in here at the Zing Bar? Oh, my! It, it's hard to name one or two, but every I'm sure you have a favorite. Oh, I always love when Roy Hargrove comes and sit in, sits in. Every time he comes and sits in, it's it's always he always takes it to another level. That. <laughs> Well, tonight is a very special night because, uh, you know, I hooked up with my man Joe Blacks and uh, we're honoring the greatest producer of all time, Jay Diller, tonight. 